I'm wrong. Definition. Adverb, in an unsuitable or undesirable manner or direction. Earthquake's very simple design, in my opinion, is in an unsuitable or undesirable manner or direction, and today, I am here to tell you why. The reason I think Earthquake is wrong is because its only purpose is to hard count of buildings. I'll explain more about why that's bad in a bit, but first you must understand how the card functions in this manner. It has boosted stats against buildings, doing a massive 244 DPS against them. Over those 3 ticks, this totals to around 732 damage. Now, this doesn't actually mean anything, so here are the interactions against all of the buildings explained. Tombstone is counted evenly, granting you 183 damage for free, but the Tombstone will give free skeletons. However, these are mostly irrelevant so you basically just get 183 damage for no cost at all. Cannon is essentially the same, it'll die due to its lifetimer and give you another 183 damage for free. Tesla is almost the same deal as well, except has a bit more health so won't fully die, however you get a plus one trade for using the Earthquake on the Tesla. Bomb Tower is more of a bit of an even trade off with Earthquake, it won't fully die but for just free elixir you're taking a mad amount of health from it. Now, the interactions get a little bit mathsy from here, so just like stick with me for a bit. Using an earthquake onto a furnace will grant your opponent 178 damage onto your tower, but you will get 183 damage in return, plus a positive elixir trade. You overall gain 5 damage onto their tower, and an elixir for free, which is mega value. Mortar will get off 2 shots under the influence of an earthquake, meaning you will take 440 damage. Again, you deal 183 damage back, and make a plus 1 trade. So overall, you take 257 damage damage for one elixir, but I wouldn't call that value. If you split skeletons or run an ice spirit to distract the two mortar shots, you and your opponent both have spent four elixir, and then you gain 183 tower damage for free from your earthquake, meaning it would be value to be used here. Inferno Tower is another trade that's sort of even-ish. You gain two elixir and get 183 damage and slow the Inferno Tower's ramp up, so it's okay, but it's nothing insane due to the Inferno Tower's massive HP. Against the Goblin Hut, you will take 201 damage after earthquaking it. Again, you get that 183 damage and 2 elixir. Overall, you take 18 damage, but you gain that 2 elixir. That's mega value once more. Elixir Collector is by far the easiest one to figure out. You get a plus 2 trade and 183 tower damage just for using the Earthquake. This interaction is literally insane, and we'll go into more about that later on in the video. So far, Earthquake is a pretty good counter to all buildings. However, these last two are not in the favor of Earthquake. Using Earthquake against an Expo means that you will take 1,846 damage, deal 183 to that tower, and gain free elixir. So overall, you take 1,663 damage for free elixir, which is not value. Barbarian Hut is a similar story. You take 1,431 damage, depending on the timing of your earthquake, deal 183 tower damage, and gain 4 elixir. Overall, that interaction is losing 1,248 damage, but you gain 4 elixir, which I wouldn't really call value once more. Earthquake is a pretty good counter to 9 out of 11 building cards currently in the game, and it has some crazy trades mixed in there too. Now, what makes it really one dimensional for countering buildings is the fact that it's almost useless against actual troops. It kills goblins for that free elixir, and will grant a 35% slow effect for anything that it does not kill, but it won't affect air cards, so it's basically like a worse log on the ground. It has a smaller area of effect than log, it costs more than log, and it takes 3 seconds to actually output its damage. It trades the knockback of a log for a slow effect, and the only positive it has is murdering 90% of buildings. In my opinion, it's not worth the extra 1 elixir over the log. Now we just gotta talk about the boring theory part of this video. I personally believe that this card is bad for the game because of it being designed to counter certain cards in particular. Think of how broken heal was initially, designed to counter poison. Think of how broken night witch was, designed to counter anything that wasn't poison. Think about three musketeers, countering anything without a big spell. Think about flying machine, countering anything without fireball. There are many many more examples of once broken cards, and they all have one thing in common. They're either OP as all hell, or literally useless. Heal against Fireball, useless. Fireball is instant damage so the unit just dies. Heal against poison, broken as all hell, removes your opponent's counter and gains you an elixir. Now, Earthquake is the same. Your opponent runs 3 buildings, well good job, you get infinite value against all 3 and auto win. Your opponent runs 0 buildings, then you're screwed, your Earthquake is a dead card and you need to win with a 7 card deck. If Earthquake is overpowered, then no builders can be meta. If Earthquake is underpowered, it's still a niche surprise card that gets you easy wins against building decks, just because it forces matchup to be that heavy. It's not like 
good for the game, and that's why I believe it takes the game to the wrong direction. Also, the singular interaction of Elixir Collector rubbed me the wrong way too. The fact that it's such a heavy trade against a card that isn't so good already makes me worry about future plans of Three Musketeers. We've already discussed them being good when you don't have the spells to deal with them, so what happens if Elixir Collector becomes top meta and you need to be running Earthquake to counter it? There are no alternatives to Earthquake, a small spell that counters pumps, which means every deck might need to run Earthquake. This means that we end up with a meta triangle. Three Musketeers loses to Earthquake, Earthquake loses to no building decks, and no building decks loses to Three Musketeers, or like something like that. It's another card that could easily lead to Rock, Paper, Scissors, and I hate that it's in the game now. But yeah, in my opinion, Earthquake fits the definition of wrong. It's moving us in an unsuitable or undesirable manner, or direction, and close.